Hey everyone. Welcome to the cryosphere. My name is David. And this is a cryokinite hole. So cryokinite or cryoconite really just means cold rock dust. It's a word for the conglomeration of wind-blown dust and soot particles that are deposited on a glacier and ice cap. And since they're darker than the ice, they absorb more of the sun's heat energy and melt themselves down into the white ice. Of course, all of the ice in the sun out here is melting, but the white ice reflects much more of that sunlight and heat energy than those darker particles. You could say the ice has a higher albedo. In technical terms, albedo is just a measurement of how much energy or light is reflected off of a surface. Something like a white glacier has a much higher reflective rate or much higher albedo than those darker particles. Something with a low albedo absorbs that energy and turns it into heat. So all these little patches of dust and soot gathering all that sun's energy melt their own little cylindrical holes down into the ice. A lot of microorganisms actually grow inside of these holes and even some larger invertebrates. There have been several species documented across the world that are found nowhere but cryokinite holes in glaciers. If you guys want to learn more about the life inside of a cryokinite hole, I highly recommend the SciShows video, Inside the Tiny Ecosystems Hiding in Glaciers. I'll put a link in the description below. Alright gang, well that is all I've got for you today. Remember to subscribe to my channel to learn more about awesome glacier features. You can find me on Instagram on at cryophotos to see some photographs from glaciers around the world. And if you enjoy learning about cryokinite and the holes they create, you can find more in some links in the description below. And remember, think like a glacier and stay cool.